Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of CJ's Coins and Crafts. This this episode is covering the 1928 Hawaiian Sesquicentennial Half Dollar. The Hawaii Sesquicentennial Half Dollar was proposed because of the observances for the 150th anniversary of Captain James Cook becoming the first European to reach the Hawaiian Island. Planners decided on August 1928, as it was halfway between Cook's landing in January 1778 and his death in February 1779. Bruce Cartwright Jr. was in charge of choosing a coin design for the Cook Sesquicentennial Commission of Hawaii. Mrs. Eth Ethelwyn Castle arranged for, hi for him to meet Juliet May Fraser, a local artist. Cartwright had prepared cartoon-style drawings with the portrait of Cook based on a wedgewood plaque that had been owned by Queen Emma, showing the explorer facing right. Within two days, Fraser had produced sketches. On November 2nd, Charles Moore of the Commission of Fine Arts wrote to Assistant Director of the Mint, Mary M. O'Reilly, that Juliet Fraser's sketches were excellent and would translate well into a coin. The Commission of Fine Arts asked James Fraser, designer of the Buffalo Nickel, and no relation to Juliet Fraser, who would, who would be most suitable to turn the sketches into plaster models. James Fraser suggested Peace Dollar design, designer Anthony Dave Francisci, but sculptor Chester Beach was hired for the role. Legislation was introduced into the House of Representatives by the territory's delegate to Congress, Victor Stewart Keloa Houston, on December 5, 1927. It was referred to the Coinage Committee, which held hearings on January 23, 1928. Delegate Houston appeared in support of his bill and, to the surprise of committee members, had gotten a statement from Treasury Secretary Andrew Mellon stating that Mellon would not oppose the bill. Congressman Ole Cavalli of Minnesota was very much interested in learning what powers of persuasion had been exercised by the gentleman from Hawaii to bring out such a favorable report. Cavalli had scuttled plans for a coin that represented North American heritage uh, due to Mellon's previous opposition to commemorative coins then to be represented as medals instead. Cavalli asked why this discrimination against 2.5 million people in the United States has come about in favor of about 35,000 whites in that territory. Houston told the committee that the coin was something that may be kept by those who attend the celebration as a memorial of it and will be available to foreigners who come there as well as our own people who celebrate the occasion. The bill was passed without objection by the House of Representatives on February 20th, 1928. The bill was received by the Senate the following day and was referred to the Committee on Banking and Currency. On February 27th, the bill was reported back to the Senate without amendment, um, without amendment but included a letter from Secretary Mellon expanding on his reasons for not oppo opposing the Hawaiian coin legislation. Mellon stated that only a token number of pieces would be issued and that the celebration sponsored by the territorial government was out of national significance. The bill was passed by the Senate on March 2nd without opposition. It was enacted on March 7th by signature of President Calvin Coolidge. It provided for the issuance of up to $10,000 in honor of the sesquicentennial with the commission's profits from the coin to be used towards establishing a J Captain James Cook collection in the territorial archives. Once Chester Beach accepted the commission on March 12, 1928, Juliet Fraser's sketches were forwarded to him. On April 7th, he sent completed models to the Mint and photographs to the Fine Arts Commission. Both the Mint and Houston responded with criticism regarding that the relief of the coin was too high and difficult to reduce to coin-sized hubs. On April 19th, Mint engraver John Sinock wrote a memo that the coin would be very hard to produced because of the area of greatest relief on each side was in the same part of the design. Beach agreed to lower any high points that might cause the mint difficulty. The coin was endorsed by the Commission of Fine Arts on May 9th with the message sent to Beach that the design had received Secretary Mellon's approval. 
The obverse depicts Captain James Cook. He faces towards a compass needle and the words Captain James Cook, discoverer of Hawaii. The words half dollar are flanked by eight triangles, four on each side. These represent the eight largest volcanic islands of Hawaii. The reverse is based on the statue of King Kamehameha for the first of Hawaii designed by Thomas R. Gould and intended to symbolize the past and future glory of the kingdom of Hawaii. The sculpture that stands in downtown Honolulu is a replacement for the one that sank while being transported from Germany. The coin features a an Hawaiian chieftain in ceremonial dress surmounting the top of a hill with his arm extended in greeting. The overall design is almost free of lettering with only E Pluribus Unum and the dates 1778 and 1928 being visible. The Philadelphia Mint struck 10,008 pieces in June 1928 and with the eight in excess being reserved for inspection and testing at the 1929 meeting of the annual Assay Commission. 50 of the 10,000 were specially finished as sandblast proof pieces to be presented to various individuals and, and institutions, such as members of the Cook Commission, President Coolidge, and the Brit British Admir Admiralty. I want to say thank you for everyone that uh, took the time to watch this video. This was a little bit shorter video, uh, but I think that uh, the history of this coin um, being produced was uh, a different treat as it had Secretary Mellon's approval uh, to, to be produced, which Secretary Mellon had a history of being against commemorative coinage. Uh, so this is uh, really an, ex an exceptional piece. And the fact that this coin, this commemorative coin came out before Hawaii was even a U.S. state. So again, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Um, if you guys are subscribed, please hit the, the subscribe and hit, and, uh, hit the bell uh, so that you guys are notified when I upload new videos or when I go live. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.